All right, we are at 11 June 2022. Let's take a look at the crypto markets and the uh, GPU, the crypto mining profitability for today. Well, as you can see, we got to see a red again. Things are just going down. I mean, and the whole economy is tanking. It may be by design. Uh, it just takes a lot to destroy a country and they're doing a good job at it. But sadly, it's affecting crypto. And uh, when I first got into crypto, I thought crypto would be separate from the equities and basic stock markets and economy. But apparently uh, it is not. So here's where we are today, guys. Like it or not, it's like we're revisiting the 2017-2018 uh, mega drop. Uh, yeah, that's the way it is. 28,000 Bitcoin. 1,500 ETH. Holy crap. -o. All right. Anyway, that is what it is. What are you going to do? What is the market cap looking like? 547 Schmackaroonies, still number one Bitcoin. Ethereum dropping off more and more. I don't know what this merge is going to do to Ethereum. I know that the uh, difficulty bomb is going to be delayed. They're uh, going to pull it out slowly towards the end of the month. So your mining profits should increase a little bit, but that's not saying much based on what it was over the past year. It is what it is. Again, I hate saying that, but what are you going to do about it, right? You p purchase a lot of equipment. And hopefully you're going to ROI these cards you bought. Otherwise, you'll just be underwater. Uh, that cost of doing business, I guess. So here we are. Yeah, everything's just not looking good. But again, this is what makes uh, wealth. you got to just figure out your best strategy. Do you hold? Do you mine and just keep selling to pay for your electricity? Or uh, or other? Or just get out? You never know. you got to figure out what works best for you. What is profitable? If you're paying more in electricity than you are mining, like I am doing right here, I am not making much even accumulation is down this is a one point oh, it actually dropped 1.34 giga hash and uh i'm only getting 22 this is crazy low this is ridiculous yeah man this used to be in the 50s you know a couple months ago yeah looking looking pretty bleak all right so let's just go through it real quick um let's look at the profitability Oh my lord, that is low. That's the lowest I've ever seen it. This is back in 2020 times almost. Early 2020 times. Holy crap, that explains a lot. All this ties together, looking at your uh, profitability when you're mining and then going to the charts. You see we are at 0.019 cents uh, USD a day for one mega hash. That is crazy. It's almost becoming to the point where you're you're barely going to pay for your power bill. You know what I mean? You're going to make a couple bucks above it. But yeah, I don't know. All right, let's go look at some other charts. Uh, the, let's look at the blocks. So it did go down. Let's look at the three months real quick. Yep, it's dropping. Look at that. It's kind of trending down. Uh, let's go look at this. We looked at that. All right, let's look at the Ethereum average block time chart. You can see right here. Look at that. It's going up. The block time is increasing along with the lower Ethereum price. It's it's not looking good. It is not really, it's not looking good at all. Oh my God. But it's good to look at these metrics to understand the ecosystem of the crypto world, especially with Ethereum. Uh, and also watch some of those dev calls. I know they're boring, but uh, I tried to uh, abbreviate as much as I can watching those videos pulling out the chunks and they all talk about what to do with this difficulty bomb and whether or not to announce a merge date. And they, they just decided maybe to delay the bomb and uh, not announce a merge date to put uh, to keep the pressure and stress off their overtaxed, unleadership, non-guided uh, developers. Uh, yeah, they need better leadership on that project. I just do not get a sense of any alpha chads, any leadership on that team. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't get a good feeling. So my concern is holding Ethereum. I don't know, man. I'm mining Ethereum, but getting paid in Bitcoin. Yeah, once that merge happens, I just don't see it going well for uh, Ethereum. I honestly don't. So here we are. Block times are up. Look at that. What is it at? It's almost at 15. I can't get that quite right. Block time in seconds. We're at 14.45. Getting close to 15. So it's going up, guys. You know, it is going up this uh, past week. Look at that. And uh, with that, your profitability and uh, accumulation of Ethereum drops as well. That's just the way of the game. All right, let's look at another chart. Oh, I don't look at that chart. 
Uh, oh, this one. Let's go back to this one. Uh, profitability. And I always look at this difficulty thing as well. So I do the profitability, I do the block size, and I do the difficulty uh, per day, the average. And let's see if this ever loads. Oh, it actually, that's weird. It kind of dropped. Let's go three months. So that's weird. The difficulty dropped, right? But the block size increased, the block time increased. And of course, the price has dropped. Let's go look at the mining pools for ETH. All right, let's reload this. Always see, make sure you got the latest and greatest. The latest and greatest. All right, ethermine.org. Uh, oh my God, this is the price. Look at that. Oh my God, look at it dropping. This chart's hard to read. It's a smaller difficulty level. So they're saying 14.97. Oh, I can't get right in. It's hard to read that chart. It's saying 15, 14. 15.29 uh, yeah average block time is 14.8 so this is a really quick way to get the numbers instead of going to the bigger chart uh, over here you can just go back to the um, mining pool stats live stream you get a quick eyeball 14.8 seconds is the block time and the height as well all right there you go that's the state of ethereum right now I put out a video yesterday on the Ethereum dev meeting, basically talking about the difficulty bomb. Go check it out, and you'll get an idea of their thought process, their mindset of what they're up to, what they're thinking, and the problems they are tackling right now, uh, and how, how to move forward. It doesn't seem like they're all on the same page, which is interesting. And when, when you have a dev team that may be split on ideology or ways to move forward, that may mean another fork or another coin. I don't know. They may branch off and go to their own thing, much the way uh, Ethereum started uh, getting away, which is now Ethereum Classic, right? I don't know. You just don't know what's going to happen with this stuff. It's always fluid. It's always moving. All right. What are you guys doing? Are you mining or what are you getting ready to turn your rigs off? Or what, what point are you going to do? Are you mining uh, CPUs? Are you going to buy more GPUs? I don't know. I wouldn't recommend buying any GPUs at this point. Uh, again, the date is what? 11... 11? 11 June 2022. All right. That's all I got, guys. Ah, thanks for watching. Welcome to the crypto winter bear market times. Enjoy it. Document your experience. And uh, hopefully we'll get out of this in a year or two. All right. I'm out. Take care. Blammo.